do it yourself. Welcome to the world of creating. This world, if you can only imagine, can be described by a couple small objects shown below. Brushes. Canvas. Frame. Paint. In a palette. But what do all these objects have in common? They can be used separately, but if used together, it can allow a beautiful idea come to life. Now, for the technical, the framework of do it. The frame is the resistance and support for the canvas. The canvas is the board of creation, freely open and up to our decisions. The brushes, the tools that we use to physically create, the cutlery of creating, if you will. The paints, every color or one color may be chosen. This is the realm for you to explore. Why We Make by Teresa Dillon. In the reflection, it outlines three reasons as to why humans create. Simply, we love to make. Making makes us feel good. We make as to learn and conquer. As humans, we have an innate desire to conquer our own lives, to make our own decisions freely. This is something we think we do every day, but rarely don't. Instructions do not solely lie in the heart of DIY but these guidelines lie at the heart of every corner. Instructions by society on how to dress, eat, act, look, smell. These instructions are a wall that divide us from fulfilling our dreams and desires. Now for the poetic, the personal, the yourself. We can see the objects from before in a different perspective. The frame is a support system, the people you depend and rely on. The canvas is the support for yourself, your physical body and mind, which we use to create in our everyday lives. The brushes is your creative output, the choices you make as a creator to construct whatever you desire. The paint is unique to everyone. Every person has a favorite color, texture, shade, but we use it all together to make something beautiful. A quote from artist Liz McGuire, art isn't a material, it's not a medium, it's not a certain product, it is the choices I've been able to make. Now go make these choices, ignore the instructions, and create for yourself.